Lonely from the world's capital markets. Here are the financial headlines brought to you by Arise Academy. Good morning and thank you for joining us for today's daily market outlook. Joining me today is Michael from our trading room to tell us more about the recent developments. Michael. Profits at China's industrial firms extended gains for a third month in October, albeit at a slower pace, suggesting more policy support from Beijing is needed to help shore up growth. The 2.7% year-on-year rise sees profit growth narrow back to single digits, following an 11.9% increase in September and a 17.2% gain in August. Digital asset funds attracted net inflows of $346 million last week, fueled by anticipation for a spot Bitcoin ETF, CoinShares reported. Bitcoin fund inflows surpassed $1.5 billion this year amid signs of short-seller capitulation. OPEC Plus is looking at deepening oil production cuts, despite its policy meeting being postponed to this Thursday amid a quota disagreement between some producers. Several analysts have said they expect OPEC Plus to extend or even deepen supply cuts into next year in order to support prices. The gold dollar pair rose 0.5% in the last session. The MACD is giving a positive signal. The euro got a slight bump of 0.1% against the dollar in the last session. The MACD's positive signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The pound-dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, rising 0.2%. The Williams indicator indicates an overbought market. The Bitcoin dollar pair plummeted 1% in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal. The U.S. Consumer Confidence will be released at 1500 hours GMT. The U.S. Red Book Index at 1355 GMT. Germany's GFK Consumer Confidence Survey at 0700 hours GMT. The Irish Retail Sales will be released at 1100 hours GMT. The UK's 30Y Bond Auction at 1030 GMT. Australia's Retail Sales at 0 hundred hours and 30 minutes GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.